Hey guys, there's a big difference between leveling your lawn with a little bit of sand versus fixing large rut marks in it. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, I think most people know about leveling using a sand or a sand mix. Majority of leveling mixes for golf courses are uh, uh, 80 20 mix, 80% sand, 20% peat. That's what a professional golf course is used for leveling, unless it's on something like a green. If it's on a golf green, then they're going to use extremely fine, pure sand because golf greens are made of what? Mostly sand. <laughs> so, but your lawn is made up of clay. So when you level, you want an 80 20 mix. But when you do deep leveling, and I'm talking one to three inches, you cannot put plain sand to fix those ruts. Uh, we've done it for years and years, and whenever we use plain sand, you're, the, the sun is gonna hit it, and it's gonna get up to about 240 degrees, and it's gonna bake that spot. And the Bermuda's gonna retreat from that spot versus wanting to go into it. And that's why we do what we're doing today, which is a 50-50 mix of some kind of um, potting soil or garden soil mix with fine play sand. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now let me give you an example on my lawn, which is the average lawn. We bought this house, what, three and a half years, four years ago? It's a horribly bumpy lawn. So we're out here doing some big rut fixes. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So leveling is a lot different. If you're just going to level, I'll probably have my leveling guy come by, brings a truck, spreads a quarter of an inch, of sand everywhere, maybe half an inch of sand. That's not what I'm talking about. Let me give you an example. So while my lawn may look level, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I've got an eight foot timber. And what do you see? What you see is, you see a big gap right there. See it? That's like an inch and a half. And I've got gaps on my lawn that are two and three inches that need to be fixed. What I don't want to do is I don't want to fill that with pure sand. Let me show you another gap over here. Okay, so we're even here, and we're even here, and now look at that. <laughs> Big old gap in there. So sometimes it's hard to identify exactly where these spots are, and it's kind of back breaking to go down. So let me show you a little trick. You'll need a two by four by eight pressure treated piece of wood that's straight so when you buy it <laughs> make sure it's straight and lay it down in the garage and store it on the gra garage floor two little eyelets and a piece of rope basically what I have here now is a little level drag so I just got eyelets here with some rope and now all I'm gonna do uh, is I can just drag this and I can watch for these spots and this is a, now I can inspect my whole yard very quickly like this. So I'm just watching and I'm watching for spaces. I'm watching for anything that's abnormal. I can come over here as an example. Okay, and look, see what I got over there? So something's going on weird here. Look at that. So something's weird there. Look at that. Okay, so I'm flat on the ground here. Look at there. That's a, that's a full two inch gap. That's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, so yesterday Jacob and I were out here doing this. We did some on the back. I'll show you some of that video, but I, let me show you exactly what we're using. Uh, everything here is from Lowe's. We should grab that rake just so they can see it. Just sort of stay there and hold it up so they can get a view of it. So that's the leveling rake. You can get that at Lowe's. I guess I'll, I'll link to it in the description. It's pretty cheap, but we use the flat edge. When we do this, we actually use this flat edge right here. So we're not using the teeth, but we're using the flat. And I've had this for several years now. Uh, it's a cobalt. The next thing is we had, we built a screen. We actually have this at our shop. We use it for other stuff. And it's just two by fours with some quarter inch mesh on it. And just simple no brainer screen. And what we're doing is we're taking our leftover uh, garden soil you can you can use potting soil which I like better because it doesn't have any wood chunks we're having to screen this material because garden soil comes with big chunks of peat and sticks inside of it 
So we're having to screen it, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but we might as well use it. And then we're just using regular all-purpose play sand, which is very fine. And we're doing it at a 50, we're doing it at a 50-50 ratio. So half sand and half um, potting soil or, or soil. Let me show you. There it is. So we're just mixing this as we go. And then, you know, if you want to hand, it's easier to do this level by level. And if you just want to sort of hand mix it while it's here, it just makes it easier just to mix it a little bit as you go about like that and then put more on. So now you can put more soil and more sand and then we'll remix it up to a high quality point in a minute here. So now you can see what we're left with here left with big clumps of peat and sticks and what I'm doing is is I'm putting these over in our garden over here <clears throat> okay so let me show you what I want you to get it to look like that's what I want it to look like right there. That's it right there. Perfect mix. 50-50. Right down dead dead low like this. Give her a little push. Bring it back. Then what I'm gonna do and just kind of gently just sort of walk on it. Just to compress it down because this peat is really light. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that pile of dirt down there. So now you can see the bottom of the rake and the rake is smooth all the way across where there was an inch and a half. Now we've got it filled up again. This, especially in the spring, this will actually encourage growth because it's really nice soil in there now. And you can only do so much at a time because you want the excess dirt. You want to be able to pick up the excess dirt and you'll get too much dirt on your rake. So. There you go. Now leave that dirt pile there and now just pull back. Perfect. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get rid of the excess dirt that's along the sides. So now you can just gently just walk along it and just sort of tamp it down because we don't want to put a whole bunch more dirt down there. So now we've done this big area, which doesn't really have a defined rut. There's more of a dip in here. So we took the rake and we spread it all out. Now we're gonna check our work. And one way to do that, we'll come across with my board and just double check it. Let me tell you what, that's pretty damn good there. Okay, so yesterday we started working on the back too. And you can see this line right here. Now this line apparently was an old irrigation trench that had gone down an inch and a half. And you can see that line there. And then this line here, there was a sprinkler head out here. Some idiot installed a sprinkler head here. So we moved it back to here. And again, that soil settled, again, about an inch and a half. And then down here, you can also see another irrigation line that was settling. So all in all, we still have quite a bit more to go. There's some ruts down there that we're gonna do as well too. But I have, I have learned, I can't tell you how much, that if you're gonna level, quarter to half an inch, you're gonna do leveling, that's fine. You can use plain sand or you can use a leveling mix, use whatever you want. But when you start to get deep, you gotta make this kind of a mixture. Now I'll warn you, 
I do like to pat it down and then the night after I'll do a light mist on it and I'll do another light mist on it. And I wanna do this at a time where I'm not gonna have rain, hopefully for about four or five days because I want the grass to try and grow up through this and I'm gonna keep watering it a little bit. If you put this down and you get heavy rains, you will get some movement. So be prepared to adjust it because you're putting a lot of this um, lighter peat and soil in there. So you may get some movement on it, but it's okay. You just come back and fix it with the rake. Just be aware of that. So important news. I do want to let you guys know that uh, I talked to Anderson's and the good news is uh, next week, they're going to be doing a humichar run and they'll probably have two truckloads go up. But I do want to warn you that it'll probably sell out in 24 hours and I'll probably put up a notice to let you guys know when that's available. What are you barking at, Linda? So click subscribe, make sure you subscribe. We got a bunch more videos to do, a bunch more work back here. Uh, we got some um, we got some landscaping stones coming in. We're gonna do some landscaping stones. We're gonna do some more leveling work. We got a whole bunch of stuff we gotta do. So uh, talk to you later, Doc.